Hey what's going on people, BearFox here and welcome back to another brand new video. This video is gonna be all about best recorder apps for low end PC. So make sure you guys watch this video till the end. In this video I'm gonna be showing you guys two best applications that you can use for recording your screen or gameplay in low end PCs without any lags or any performance issues. And also this video is not sponsored by any means, all of the reviews are on my personal opinion. So make sure you guys don't skip this video. Before jumping in this video, I want to let you know about my official Vizio page where you guys can request me to make a personalized video for your problems for as low as $5. Again, I promise that every money, every penny I earn from Vizio will be going to charity. So make sure to show some support to your creator. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, so the first application that we are using in this list is called the OCam. I'll be leaving a link to this app in the description below. You guys can go check it out and download it for free. Now, once you are here, this app offers you three tabs. The first one is screen recording. The second one is game recording. And the third one is audio recording. And yes, you are reading it correct. It offers us all three things for free. Over here, you'll find big tabs called record, capture, resize, open, codex and sound these are really basic tabs and i need to explain them a bit the first two is um, for recording and taking screenshots of your screen the third option is called resize now over here if you come and you'll find youtube and all of the resolutions so basically over here you guys can select resolution for the recordable screen if you're recording this video for youtube you'll find hd fhd qhd 4k and 8k resolutions for your monitor over here and you guys can also find the default res over here you can also select full screen recording if you have two or more monitors you guys can see primary and secondary monitor option over here you guys can even select a custom area or you guys can drag this thing down to resize your recording area also you guys can add the recording area or edit recording area list so i feel that this option over here is really a big master control for screen recording the fifth option over here says codec. This is one of the really main thing over here. So if you are not aware of the recording formats, which is MP4, M4V, MKV, MOV, WMV, FLV, AVI, DS, VOB, and GIF. All of these are video recording formats. That means the extension files that video uses. For me, I'll be choosing MP4 and in here you'll find a lot of mp4 extensions um, it says h264 mp4 for nvenc nvenc hevc so if you are newbie and you don't know anything i'll highly recommend you guys to leave it on auto select it selects the best and optimal coding for your pc the last one says sound it means that if you want to record system audio and over here you guys can choose any microphone which you want to give input from for me it's gonna be hyperx quadcast um, the second one is game recording and it offers almost the same features so you don't have to worry about it and the audio recording is again you guys can go and edit sounds over here you guys can also select codex which means mp3 wma flac or m4a for here i had recommend you guys to choose mp3 format because it's the best for audio recording also if you guys click on this menu button you guys can go to options over here and here are some basic options which i'm going to be showing you guys so for general make sure that you include the cursor and also use the tray icon and click here hide app when app is minimized so it hides the app so you guys can find it in the tray over here the second thing is setting your FPS. Now if you have a low end PC, you guys can go for 60. If you have a high end PC, you guys can go for 144, 120 or 240. Totally upon you. Uh, for quality, I highly recommend you guys to keep it high or medium depending upon your PC. I can keep it to very high as well, but for recording purposes, I'm just going to be keeping it to high. For the keyframe rate, I highly recommend you guys to keep it to 2 and not anything else because 2 is best for gaming or recording, no matter. Leave both of these as it is. 
Now go to the game section over here and make sure to disable the show FPS overlay. And then go to resize and if you're recording your video on a 720p monitor but you want a 1080p video, you guys can click on here and then select 1080p. You guys can go for equality which means low, medium or fast depending upon your PC. If you have a low end PC, you guys can go for low if you have a budget pc you guys can go for medium x and if you have a high end pc you guys can go for high by cubic now come to the second option which says sound and make sure you have the input one plus two over here now this video is not targeting gif so i'm just gonna be leaving this part you guys can come to hotkeys and over here you guys can set your hotkey to record your videos uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory so I don't have to explain it if you come to effect you guys can add effects to your mouse clicks left click right click highlight effect or cursor size totally depending upon you guys it's pretty self-explanatory and I believe that if you guys roam around here you'll find how to do it for the save option you guys can go to the output part if you have to save it on your desktop um, just click on these three dots and put your output path to desktop this is the file name extension i recommend you guys not playing with it because it will just screw up all of your recordings and uh, make sure that you turn off the time limit because sometimes it becomes the bottleneck for recording um, you guys can also remove the watermark or you can add a watermark you can add an image um, i recommend you guys not to do it and for the webcam um, if you want to add a webcam, you guys can add a webcam choosing it from here. I don't want it, so it's pretty much. For the performance, here is something really important in the performance section. Now, I highly recommend you guys not to use the auto. Just search for system information and you'll be coming to a screen like this. Now, over here, somewhere you'll find your processor. Uh, it's i5 8400 CPU for me. So all you have to do is just open up your browser and type in i5 8400 threads, uh, whatever your processor name, add threads in here. And over here, as you guys can see, I have six cores and six thread. So once you are here uh, for the encoder thread count, make sure to put it on six. Now for the capture method, just put it on fast and the stage of pipeline, make sure to choose three stage pipelines. And um, language does not need to be explained, once done with that, hit OK and your recorder is set up and really, really good to go. Alright, the second application which we are using on this list is called Metal. No cap, Metal is one of the best app which you have to use if you're playing games and you want to record gameplay simultaneously. Metal do not pose any performance issue while playing games and it's just a one tap record for a past few seconds or even if you record your whole gameplay. Not to lie, all gameplays you see on my screen are recorded by Metal. I highly recommend you guys using this app. So well, I'll be leaving a link to Metal in the description below. You guys can go check it out. So setting Metal is really simple. Um, you have to do basic steps to make your account and then go to the settings section in the bottom left section. Once you are in the recorder section, uh, just go to resolution. I am using full HD, but you guys can use high. I'm using 60 FPS, but you guys can use 30 or 60, whatever you're capable of for bitrate I highly recommend you guys using 10 to 20 not more than that if you have a low-end PC go for 10 if you are having a medium PC go for 15 if you want to overkill you can go for 20 I'm using 15 because I really don't need much of the bitrate or clarity in my videos they are really good and I don't want them to pose any threat to my gaming for the video encoder, if you have GPU, it's the best, but if you don't have a GPU, I recommend you guys using CPU. For the length, this is basically if you want to record the past few seconds. I have set it to 45, but if you want to go for more, you guys can use more. Now this is where you save your metal clips. Uh, for me, it's Y metal in the Y drive, but you guys can browse and choose any location you want. Um, you guys can also use full session recording if you are recording a game. And uh, rest all of these publishing thing, I recommend you guys to leave it to general.
Now go to audio in devices and over here you guys can choose if you want a microphone input to it. For me it's a microphone HyperX Quadcast over here. You guys can select the input volume. You guys can do the test over here. You guys can even enable push to talk over here which is really cool. You guys can also add a camera over here but I highly recommend you guys not to do it if you are on a low end PC because it poses a lot of performance issues on your PC. The fourth option over here is called hotkeys and it's one of the really important settings. So this is basically where you choose to record your gameplay. For me, I have set it to this button over here which is under the escape. I find this button really accessible so I just put it over here but you guys can choose whatever you like. You can also add a mouse hotkey but I highly recommend you guys not to do it. If you are playing on controller, you guys can also edit the controller hotkey as well. Go to general section over here. Just make sure to put it on auto startup because you don't want to manually start it every time because it takes a lot of time. But if you have a low end PC, I highly recommend you guys keep it to off since it consumes a lot of memory while booting up. You guys can even start it minimized just like I do. Um, just keep all of these things off because you know you don't want uh, notifications while playing game. I recommend you guys to put UI hardware acceleration on and both of these options off and once you're done with that you guys are ready to go. So those are the two apps which I recommend you guys to record your gameplay or your screen. If this video helped you out make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.